But first, science, technology, engineering, math, or STEM. You've probably heard the acronym. It connects fields of study that emphasize innovation, problem solving, and critical thinking. But STEM also represents a curriculum that challenges young minds with new concepts. And as you'll see, one elementary school in Pulaski County is doing just that. This is STEM Camp. STEM is science, technology, engineering, and math. A lot of times in your larger cities, there's just so many different resources. And in the more rural communities, you don't have that. But they still need the same skills. They still need all those experiences. So you have to look for things to bring to the kids. They need it and they love it. Once you bring it to them, it helps them to grow. I think it's great for the area. We haven't had a science camp ever that I know of here in Pulaski County. My name is Natasha Kraft. I'm the STEM lab teacher here at Pulaski Elementary for kindergarten through fifth grade. And this week we have camp invention here at our school. All right, this is gonna be the games room. So Mr. Smith, you'll be in here. Your boxes are on the filing cabinets in there. Camp invention is a STEM camp, but it's actually, it's from the National Inventors Hall of Fame and the U.S. Patent Office, and the curriculum that we use is actually created by inductees into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. The boxes are labeled, you know exactly what activity it goes with, what day to use it on. Every single thing they need to do it is in there. If they need scissors, scissors are in the box. If they need a glue gun, that's in the box too. But it looks like there's a lot of fun stuff. I mean, I've got inflatable pools, masking tape markers, frisbees, balloons, buckets. There are several of us that are working that teach here, so it is a special place for lots of us, but I did try to pull teachers from other schools in the county because I've got kids here from every school in the district, from surrounding counties, from the Christian schools. I wanted it to be for all the kids, anybody that could make it. Inventors here. I can't wait for it to start. Yep, the to. teachers are all in their rooms. Everybody's getting everything together, so I think we've got it ready to go. I just hope the kids have fun. I'm excited to see their faces when they get here and see what all we're going to be doing. <laughs> this is a camp like no other. We have 92 participants and they are from the Pulaski County area. This camp introduces them to so many different aspects of STEM and uh, gives them the opportunity to experience science that maybe they don't get within the regular classroom. It also gives them an opportunity to get their hands into lots of activities. Uh, we're going to create a pop-up business. When we talk about collaboration, problem solving, or we like to say solution seeking now, communication, those are critical skills that everyone in society is going to need, um, especially our young people coming up. And so during Camp Invention, they're, they're learning lots of science content, but as they're learning the different science concepts and the math concepts, they're actually building and inventing. In the school setting, students are very often afraid of failure, and when we put them in a STEM camp setting, they're not afraid to fail. And really, it's about providing experiences where young people can have interaction and play and really focus on the creativity, the solution seeking, the critical thinking, and the collaboration. Kids have got to learn how to face problems and solve them. Learn that some things work, some things don't. That's one of the reasons why this camp is so important. I turned mine off! I turned mine off! <laughs> you know, I want them to, to be okay with failure and learn how to move on from that. So I come from a family of teachers. My mom taught third grade. My dad was a middle school principal. 
and my grandmother even rode a mule to a one-room schoolhouse to teach in Breathitt County. And so when I heard about this STEM program going on in Pulaski County, I had to see it for myself. Hey, thanks. Can we come in for a little bit? Yeah. I got it, I got it. I'm always amazed when I get back into an elementary school. I always forget how tiny the chairs are and how low the water fountains are. So it does take a little bit of getting used to it when you're back in a place like this. It's such a robot that makes a party. Yeah, I'm a kind of robot. Now, does the golf ball count as one of our two things? Oh, you don't fold the box first. OK, OK. Now do I go ahead and fold all this no, up? you have to do it a different way. It's great to watch the kids learn. They keep talking about how involved the kids are and how engaged they are in everything. It's fun. There's lots of activities. They're building robots and playing with mini skateboards and making light up party hats. They're doing all kinds of fun stuff. But that the whole so time, funny. they're given That's a task, and they have to invent something that doesn't exist already. Uh, they've been given a little debit card. OK. With $1,000, so they talked about how to get a loan. So they, they buy the things that they're going to put in their store, and they yeah. kind of learn the value yeah. of all that that way. OK. Oh, cool, OK. The umbrella goes up and down for the table? That's so cool. Are you going to put it right Oh, There you go. They're leaving here, jumping up and down, talking to their parents, showing them what they're making. I don't see any long faces. I don't see anybody that's upset. They're all having a, a great time, I think. Just a new experience that's really great for them. Bye, all my new friends. I'll see you back in a little bit, OK? I think at the end of the day, camps, they're promoting positive experiences in STEM, and that's what we want students to leave with. Not every student's going to go into STEM, and that's completely okay. What we want them to get out of these experiences is positive experiences that they'll be able to take and apply into other areas of their life. I'm Chip Polston, cherishing this Kentucky life. Hey everybody, I'm your host for Kentucky Life, Chip Polston. Now, if you like that story, let's say you'd like to explore more of Kentucky, here's how you can do it. Just click that subscribe button for more great content.